This is Casey Campbell with G1 NBC Sports Livingston County. I'm here with Brighton track coach Otha Hill. Coach, uh, you're uh, a couple weeks into the season. Talk about your sprinters for this year. Well, my sprinters are returning uh, sophomores. One of them is uh, Justin Newbert. Uh, he ran 100 and 200. Also, Chris Seguin. He ran 100 and 200. And also, the 4x2 and the 4x1. They're returning sprinters for me this year. I'm um, obviously. Looking inside, you got Max Luisa also coming back. Yes, he's coming back as in running the one tens and the three hundred hurdles, intermediate hurdles, and also he's going to run on the four by four. Coach, you got some new hurdlers this year. Uh, talk about uh, the growth of them at, throughout the season. Well, yeah, I got a brand new um, freshman hurdle hurdler. He's pretty good there, um, Brandon uh, Edels. Uh, he's pretty good. Uh, also, I have uh, a transfer in Tommy uh, Kopet. And um, so uh, we're looking to be pretty strong in the hurdles this year. From the high jump and low, long jump perspective, well, what's obviously going to be returning from there? Well, we, we, we're kind of thin with that. We have Noah Grimm. He's returning in, um, as, as our number one high jumper. Uh, she ended up this year probably about running, jumping about 6'3", 6'5". Uh, he's at 6'3", at 6'2", now, so he'll probably end up at 6'5". Uh, also, he's uh, double duty at the long jump also. So um, I got I to find a, um, a couple long jumpers as we go throughout the season. Coach, obviously uh, obviously, competition is going to be tough this year. Who do you think will be obviously the toughest competition coming in? Uh, looking at always, Grand Blank is, is uh, very strong all the time. But everybody in our division is, is strong from the top to the bottom. So Grand Blank, uh, Pickney, uh, basically, and Heartland are the two, uh, three that, that we really uh, – need to really work hard to, to try to you know try to bring out a victory speaking of victories um for a few years a few years ago we've been going on three years without a victory and now a couple years you had two or three how do you think um the expectations is for this year going in maybe getting a, lot, a little bit more victories this well year? you know our, our strength and conditioning programs have gotten better since we got a new weight room that helps out a lot and the kids are participating in uh uh, multiple sports besides just uh, track and field or besides just one sport which is football or whatever uh, they're they're doing other sports so which helps us out with the, when they come to, um, to track and field so they're stronger so all, I've got, all we have to do here is just to get them uh, track condition coach thank you very much and good luck on the season thank you